Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Today I have massive news for all internet computer holders. The internet computer protocol is making one more step towards mass adoption of this fantastic project. In this video, we are going to go through the relevant piece of news as always, based on a ton of different data, charts, metrics, and indicators. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okie dokie guys, I will show you straight away this piece of news that was shared and reposted on the um, Twitter profile of Dominic Williams. So Taurus has added the full internet computer protocol value chain to our custody solution, including staking, making this the most advanced integration in the world for Definity, our banking partners such as SYZ Group will be able to offer Internet Computer Protocol and ICP staking to their clients. This is a huge, huge step towards adoption of the Internet Computer Protocol because uh, from now on, uh, banks, especially banks in Switzerland uh, first, and then uh, I hope banks in all other regions of the world will be able to get exposure to the Internet Computer Protocol and they will be able to offer to their clients Internet Computer and staking of ICP. Very, very, very bullish. So uh, let's go through uh, and see who is Taurus, uh, what is SYZ Group doing, who are the people in charge of these projects and so on and so forth. So uh, if we uh, just take a look at their uh, Twitter profiles, uh, people could think, hey, this is one more irrelevant news for the Internet Computer Protocol because those are not such big institutions. They don't have so much following on social media and so on and so forth. This couldn't be farther from the truth. And I will provide an insight in all the relevant information so we can see who these people really are. Uh, let's start first with SYZ Group that is already a partner of the Definity Foundation and the Internet Computer Protocol. So they are a family-owned and run Swiss banking group focused on good long-term investment performance, careful risk management and personal service. So let's go take a look at uh, their uh, website to see what are their services and what they're really offering. So private banking, digital asset services, wealth planning, pension planning solutions for Swiss residents, multi-custody, discretionary management, advisory, mortgage financing, family, and investment office. So these are only few of the services they do offer. Do you remember that I was mentioning uh, about DokuTrack? And this was, in my opinion, already a huge step towards uh, the adoption of the Internet Computer Protocol because now this Swiss partner, the Swiss bank, private bank, is using dApps that are developed on the Internet Computer Protocol to optimize their anti-money laundering practices and, of course, to enhance the user experience to make it faster and of course, the Internet Computer Protocol for them was the best solution. Uh, let's go take a look uh, what they're doing, how they're doing financially. So uh, the SYZ Group reported a net profit of 7.5 million Swiss francs, up 16% on 2022 figures, demonstrating the group robustness against macroeconomic headwinds. The SYZ Group has announced its 2023 annual resort and reported a net profit of 7.5 million. This figure is up uh, 16%. Okay, uh, the total group AUM has remained steady at 23.1 billion Swiss francs. So these are not small uh, institutions by any means. These are big institutions, especially compared to what is happening in the crypto world. Of course, compared to some giants in traditional finance, these, these, those are still small institutions. However, if we compare this to the crypto space, those are not small sums of money whatsoever. Let's go take a look at uh, Taurus and to see their website, how this looks like and what they're really offering. 
So everything you need to custody and manage any digital asset, uh, cryptocurrencies, tokenized assets, digital currencies. And uh, here we can see that uh, they claim that they are industry leading technology, fast and flexible at deployment. However, the most interesting thing here is that they claim they are the number one platform for banks. More than half of banks offering digital assets run on Taurus infrastructure in Switzerland, which is uh, very, very important for the internet computer because they are, of course, the Definitive Foundation. They are based in Switzerland. So their network, in order to start with adoption, they need to start from Switzerland where they are based. And in Switzerland, there is the economical a base for whole Europe, and there is a huge inflow of capital over there. Uh, therefore, if they can uh, extend their network to multiple private banks in uh, Switzerland, that would already be fantastic. That would already push internet computer to 100 plus dollars per ICP. No problem whatsoever. Very, very easy because now uh, there is adoption. However, let's see if this will happen and let's go through all this other relevant information that I have provided. So, who are the clients of Taurus? And once again, people will say, hey, um, they are simply like a small institution. However, let's take a look at their clients. Algorand Foundation, Ethereum Foundation, Tezos Foundation, Cardano Foundation, in traditional finance, Credit Suisse, Deutsche Bank, Credit Agricole, Swiss Quote, Mastercard, and SYZ uh, as well. Let's go uh, take a look at uh, some other uh, relevant parameters. Uh, so um, they claim that they're best in class technology, secure, flexible, transparent, and a product leadership, richest features, largest use cases. So let's take a look at the use cases. Uh, so custody and stake a wide range of cryptocurrencies, including NFTs, DeFi, issue and administer any tokenized security assets, equity, debt, real estate, and uh, collectibles in full compliance, mint, burn, custody and transfer, stable coins and central banks, digital currencies, optimize your settlement process, fastest evolving Swiss leadership, worldwide reference, and recognized experts. Okie dokie, let's go take a look at the other relevant metrics that I have found. This is how it works. Uh, I will not uh, explain all these uh, details. Uh, this is something that I'm doing at my work as well. However, let's take a look at the benefits for the banks, additional revenue opportunities, gain new clients and retain current clients, make transactions and private asset bankable, invest in the local economy. So uh, what's the point here? Why is this so huge for the internet computer protocol as a whole? Because Taurus has many clients already, big clients in traditional finance, like Credit Suisse, for example. And through Taurus, uh, then they can offer staking of ICP and ICP in general as an asset to the clients of Taurus that are huge private banks in Switzerland. So if they decide to offer internet computer or staking internet computer to some of their local clients or clients all around the world, that would had, have a huge network effect for the internet computer as a whole because now you're exposed to institution, to institutional interest, to institutional buying pressure and of course, then you have more users, more long-term holders. And of course, this is positive on various, various scales. And it has huge implications also, of course, for the price of the internet computer protocol as a whole. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, let's see uh, basically who their clients are. This is something I showed already, 25 plus clients, 17 protocols, four tokenization protocols, and 75% of uh, their team are engineers. We are builders who focus on products. 75% uh, of our staff are engineers and PhDs. Very, very interesting as well. 
and they work for huge financial institutions, which have worked for huge financial institutions, which I will be talking about in a second. So these are their uh, principles. Let's uh, quickly uh, take a look at their cloud providers. So for now, Amazon Web, Web Services, uh, Google Cloud, IBM Cloud, and so on and so forth. I would want to see Internet Computer Protocol being here on the list and be part of this revolution to slowly start taking over this huge part of the market and the implications for the ICP are also huge in that regard as well. However, as you can see, uh, there is a transition from web to services to uh, web tree services that does not happen overnight. It happens through the help of other institutions as well. So many people um, have some sort of hate towards banks financial institutions, they feel they are the enemy. However, the reality of the thing is that we cannot expect that the crypto market will be able to continue pushing uh, on its own. Uh, we have to create also an integration with Web2 services and then over time, Web3 services will start taking over the market. I think this process could take even decades. So uh, I take it one step of the time, and this is why I keep my uh, time horizon for the investment fairly, fairly long. Uh, before ending, I will just show, of course, the team of Taurus. So they have worked previously for some big, uh, huge institutions like Google, IBM, Bloomberg, and so on and so forth. That's absolutely uh, great. Uh, I believe there are 17 team members. So it's not a small team, but not a huge team as well. So we can take a look at some of these people just to understand where they have worked before and what is their curriculum. So we can understand if this is some kind of random institution or these are very serious people. So uh, senior advisor, Salvatore Iacangelo. So let's take a look at him. So ba basically he was a managing director at Credit Suisse, huge institution. So uh, here it is already we see that uh, some members have a very, very uh, important CVs. So uh, Rani Jaban, he was a he's a head of treasury. Uh, so let's take a look where this this person worked. So he worked as a forex and treasury dealer at BFO London for Credit Agricole Group, so huge institution, and joined uh, Credit Agricole Suisse as a senior manager, FX, so forex advisor into in the two thousands. Since 2009, he's the head of treasury at Arab Bank, Switzerland, and so on. So you may see these people worked for huge, huge financial institutions before. Let's take a look at one more head of finance and risk. Let's take a look at this person. So where did you work? Uh, he worked five years at Group SYZ. Oh, great. This is a partner of uh, Definity and ICP. Uh, and uh, so on and so forth. Okay, so all these people uh, have a very good credentials, which is important for me. I'm taking a look at the team always and I'm making a big research and these pieces of news for me are very important to understand in which direction is the internet computer protocol heading. So all good. Let's focus now on the implication for ICP. Uh, number of projects that are developing on the Internet Computer Protocol, I mentioned this already many times, is increasing day by day and uh, the level of um, adoption and the level of usage is increasing as well over time, even though many people say that nothing is happening, the pro pro project is going backwards, there is stagnation and so on and so forth. I wouldn't say personally, so I'm very positive about what they're doing. Let's see uh, the amount of long-term holders constantly increasing. Uh, as you may see, uh, four or five more million internet computer protocol that are staked for eight years since the beginning of the year. So uh, this is very important for now. Already $2.9 billion are locked here. 
Um, if we manage to have more institutional interest for the Internet Computer Protocol and mo even more Internet Computer Protocol that is staked for the long term, that would be absolutely amazing. We will see what are the effects of those partnerships, of those news for the Internet Computer Protocol. I'm 100%. Uh, percent, I, I will not say 100%, but 99% uh, sure that most of the people will overlook those partnerships. For example, Outlier Ventures, I spoke about that. In my opinion, that's all huge for the Internet Computer Protocol. Most of the people are laughing and saying, hey, the price is only going backwards. They're not looking at this thing as a big puzzle. The price is just one little piece of puzzle and it's a product of hype, news, speculation, and so on and so forth. All the rest, technology, innovation, adoption, partnerships, number of holders, active users, and so on and so forth, those are all parameters that are very, very important for me as a long-term investor because if I'm able to understand the whole ecosystem, who is building, who is growing, how many users, how many use cases, how much adoption, how many partnerships, and so on and so forth, I can understand if the project is undervalued or overvalued. Of course, I will also take in consideration the macroeconomy, the risks of the project, the social risk at the moment, and many other factors. So it's a very, very complex analysis, especially in crypto, when you cannot really understand precisely what is the value of a project. However, based on everything that I'm taking a look here, I personally believe as an analyst, and once again, don't take this as a financial advice, it's just my personal opinion as a random guy here on YouTube, that the Internet Computer Protocol is severely undervalued compared to some other projects in the crypto space in the top 20 or top 30 that are, uh, in my opinion, having uh, less applications and util potential use cases for the future. Okay, guys, take this as it is. In my opinion, this is a big news. Maybe for not, it's just ridiculous and uh, you do not care. So if that's the case still, I hope you enjoyed the video. However, if you really did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.